Hey Dev, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to learn how to set DOM breakpoints in the Firefox DevTools. For this video, I will be using Firefox version 77. Let's jump in. I'm going to be using DOM break for these examples, and I'll leave a link for it down in the description. The first type of DOM breakpoint is subtree modification. This is when anything is added to or removed from the tree at a specific point. I'm going to right click inspect element on this gray box. This will open the dev tools with that element highlighted. Then I'm going to right click the element, break on, subtree modification. This blue tag on the left indicates that a breakpoint has been set. Now when I click add a node, we hit that breakpoint and the debugger opens. To continue, I can hit play here in the debugger or in the window. To remove the breakpoint, I can clear it here in the debugger by clicking the X. Once again, to set a subtree modification breakpoint, right-click an element in Inspector, break on, subtree modification. Let's go back to the debugger and clear that out. The second type of DOM breakpoint is attribute modification. This will break when there are changes to the attributes on a selected element. I'm going to right-click Inspect Element, on this outlined paragraph. And just like before, right click, break on, and this time select attribute modification. Once again, we have an indicator to show that a breakpoint has been set. Now, when I select any of these style buttons, I'm going to hit that breakpoint. To continue, just like before, I'll hit play. Let's hit another one and another one. Each time I'm editing the class attribute of the element, which is hitting the breakpoint. To remove the breakpoint, I can clear it in the debugger like before, or I can go to Inspector, find that element again, right click, and unselect attribute modification. That will remove the breakpoint too. Once again, to set an attribute modification breakpoint, right click an element, break on, attribute modification. You can see. We can see that the breakpoint works. And then to remove, either close it here in the debugger or unselect it in Inspector. The third type of DOM breakpoint is node removal. This will break when the selected element is removed. Let's go back to the first example and add a node. Now I'm going to right click, inspect element, and then right click again, break on node removal. Now, when I click this element, we hit that breakpoint. And we can see that we're calling remove on that node. Press play to continue. And that node is gone. Unlike the other examples, I don't need to clear the breakpoint because it was removed with its element. Once again, to set a node removal breakpoint, inspect an element, then right click, break on, node removal. I click that, we hit our breakpoint. I can hit play here in the debugger, and that element and my breakpoint are gone. In this video, we learned how to set DOM breakpoints in the Firefox DevTools. Specifically, we looked at subtree modification, attribute modification, and node removal breakpoints, and how to clear them. That's all for now. See you in the next video.